one of the team's better seasons in a long time. We actually ended with a winning dual meet record. Uh, it's the first time in my tenure that we've had a winning record, which has been great. It's really helped the morale for the girls. We're much deeper as a team, so success has been a little bit easier to uh, get behind because it's not just one girl, two girls carrying the team. Um, so like our ECAC meet in December, we had an unbelievable meet. Anna won the uh, swimmer of the meet, so that really kind of helped her kind of get ready for it. So we're going into the NECs with, um, I want to say two or three events where we're the top seed going in on the distance swims. Um, and then the breaststrokes obviously with our juniors. So we're very excited for it looking for the NEC based on what we've done so far this year. So Brian's been really, um, I don't know, I think he's been very confident in us and I think that that's helped the whole team a lot. Um, we definitely, we were, I think we got seventh last year at NECs and like when I first came to the team we were getting eighth place so I think that we can definitely get top five this year. I think me as well as the entire team, we've been getting really focused in practices, uh, trying to get those like last details and even, like listening a lot to what Coach Brian told us to do and like focusing and uh, trusting the process and what he's telling us to do in practice. But I think it's mostly like sleeping well, eating well, taking care of your body and like taking care of your mind getting like really focused and ready to do what we've been doing the entire season. After ECACs, we still swam a lot. Uh, we went to Florida for a training trip. We swam so much there, plus conditioning. And uh, when we came back, we slowly got into taper, which means uh, less yardage and weaker practices, but still like we had sprints and we were still focusing on the next weekend. Well, we have been practicing very hard, to be honest. Um, was not easy practice, that will be very strong, um, very hard practice, very tough, but I mean at final we can have, uh, we're doing this because we want results, you know. Um, mentality, we have been preparing like very positive all the time, like Brian told us like keep going, keep going, like you got this, and I think we need to have like very, very strong mentality right now because even if you are strong in the pool, you need to be more strong in the mentality to be honest. I mean, in my perspective, I think we need to have like very positive mentality, attitude. I think that's the world, like attitude. If the swimmer does their best time, you can't ask more than them doing their personal best. You hope that personal best will help you in conference. Um, but we definitely do when we're recruiting and looking throughout the season. Uh, the NEC pop publishes a top time list every week. So we're definitely looking in there to say, hey, where are we ranking out, where, how we're holding up. So we know, we have an idea going at the conference how we can succeed and where we might kind of put some girls in their races. But personal best, I would say, for the athlete and then versus conference is my goal overall for them. So personally, I think that I can try to go best times in all my races. And uh, as a team, I think there's a lot of new freshmen and our relays can definitely have all the records broken for sure. We broke a bunch of relay records in ECACs and that was only halfway through the season. So I think with another half of a year of training that we can definitely break them by even more. And this year I really think we're going to surprise a lot of colleges. They're not like expecting our team uh, as strong as it is. We had a, like a lot of good freshmen coming and new additions. So I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. We can break records. Um, in conference, so as a team, I think I really hope like all my team is doing his best and her best. So I think we will do a great job, to be honest. Our mentality all year is to have fun, be energetic, be energetic, and really kind of like be behind your teammates. Don't let your race affect their race. Kind of keep it all positive. Um, it's easy to go negative in swimming, um, so it's more difficult to stay positive. And that's what I've been on mantra. If you watch our dual meets and you watch us at ECACs. Our girls are involved, and they're there for their teammates. And it's there's age gaps on our team. Our freshmen are 18, and our seniors are 23, 22. So there's a big age gap, but they really seem to be getting along well this year. And that's what we're, our mantra and our mentality is: be behind each other, push each other in the right way. Um, there's going to be a competition, obviously, just because people swim the same strokes. But they're happy for each other. You can see at the race they might be disappointed they didn't win, but they're even more excited that their teammate did. And that's been our mentality: say if we're happy, we're positive, results will be there.